Sometimes you're in life, you feel like you're living a dull ache. Why is that? Feels like a dull ache because your mind is scattered or going in circles. It's like when you're trying to make a decision. It ends up being that you refuse to make it. It's like you're going in circles. You keep going back, you keep going back and revisiting. Life is a lot more happier when you make decisions in a straight line. You move forward, you make your, you know, you get, you can make, get, gather 20% of the information to make a beginning decision. You don't have to gather 100% of the information to make a decision. So you experiment along the way as you're deciding. You might be putting yourself in the environment that you're trying to look at trying to sell the person that you're working with. If you become a good decision maker by deciding in a straight line, you're going to be ten times happier because you're making progress. Every time you circle back, you can't make a decision, you're not going to be very happy. Now, a lot of times when we're trying to make a decision, <clears throat> sometimes we write down the steps or things that we got to purchase and we gloss over it. If you spend more time in each thing thinking about it, you're going to make a better decision. Or are you going to be able to decide quicker, no, that's not the way to go, or that would be naive to think that would work. Sometimes you have to talk to an expert. How do they do it? How do they do the job this much better? Sometimes you have to watch and listen. Being happier is watching the world, see how it works, see how people operate. You're doing these little mini contracts with yourself, trying to figure out what is really necessary. When you start thinking in a straight line, you start throwing things out because, no, nope, that's not necessary. That was just m me feeling, trying to feel better, buying something. Drink of the day is water. So as of today, I'm two pounds up from my lowest weight. So I gotta get back on the treadmill of life. But I've decided, I've looked at different uh, items of food. So what you do is you have an app and you look at the food and what you're going to get out of it. And then you start substituting. Like for breakfast, I always used to have toast. It was probably margarine. I started ordering dry toast with butter on the side. By doing that, things taste a little bit better with the butter instead of the margarine. Then I got rid of the toast, the carbohydrates. So right now, after looking at everything, I have two scrambled eggs. I flipped over like an omelet. Easier to eat. Medium, four strips of medium bacon, a side of cottage cheese, and a side of broccoli. Gives you most of the vitamins, minerals, and supplements that you need for the day. Just those four items. I try to, try to stick to that at least five days a week, and when I don't feel like eating that, I eat something else for two days a week. And I'm almost at a decision point on what I eat in the afternoon. The types of food that I eat in the afternoon. If you're covering most of your bases with your breakfast, probably eat whatever you want to in the afternoon. You just have to, you know, not go crazy with 3,000 calories for the day. But you are definitely going to be happier making decisions, linear decisions in a straight line. If you're looking back or circling back, life's going to be a dull ache, and you're going to be wondering why you're not moving forward or being successful and getting better with each thing. Every time you circle back, you're wasting time. When you could be moving using that time to fail. Sometimes it's better failing, going forward and failing. You might waste a little money moving forward. And I can guarantee if you thought about things and made a decision and moved forward, you'd get better at making the right decisions because you already put in your failure work. How does that sound? You know what to do. 
do whatever you want to do and go out and help somebody.